The settings tab of your Slice register is a useful tool to assess the overall health of your system. Slice uses state-of-the-art equipment to ensure your system works reliably and with as little downtime as possible. Should you experience any issues with your system, this tab will make it easy for you to troubleshoot and get back on track. So let's take a quick look at your settings tab. First, we start with the Slice Support tab. Here you will find different sections to troubleshoot different aspects of your system. The Internet Connection Health lets you know whether or not your Slice register has an active internet connection. An active internet connection is required in order to receive online orders and to process credit cards. There are three domains listed under this section. If everything is green, then it means you have an active internet connection. Otherwise, anything in red means you could potentially have a problem in the link between your Cisco Meraki router and the internet modem from your internet service provider. This can also mean you have an internet connectivity problem outside of register. When this is the case, you will need to contact your internet service provider. The payment processor section will list all credit card readers that are ready to be used by your slice register. The sync status lets you know if the current terminal is set to receive online orders from slice. In the event you would like to update the sync status of any of your terminals, you can do so from the register settings page by toggling the switch labeled receive online orders on tablet. Please know that only one terminal at most can be set to receive online orders. If you are switching your online order terminal, Make sure to disable sync status on your previous terminal and download changes from Slice before updating the sync status on the new terminal. If you have any questions or need assistance with this process, please contact Slice support. The install printer section lists all the printers on the network. Any printer shown in green means the printer is on the network and discoverable by a register. The card swiper section shows all the card swipers available on the network. The version section shows the current register version installed on your tablet. The application update process is managed by Slice. Updates to your register application happen overnight during off hours to avoid any disruptions to your business. The error log, when expanded, will show any errors captured by your Slice register. This is particularly useful during troubleshooting. The only time you will interact with the section is when asked by Slice support to report any errors on your end during troubleshooting. Lastly, the Advanced Login section gives you the opportunity to capture events from other parts of your system. Again, you would not interact with this part of the system unless explicitly asked to do so. Within the Receipt Printers tab, the Unassigned Printer section shows those printers which are on the network but have yet to be assigned to print orders. Newly discovered printers are printers that have been recently added to the network. The Discover New Printer button scans the network for new compatible printers. Please keep in mind that in order for printers to be discoverable by register, it needs to first be granted permission to locate devices on the network. If your printers are powered on and connected to the network but are not appearing on the list, go to your iPad settings and make sure the local network toggle is in the on position. The What's New section allows you to stay up to date with Slice Register. This section holds all the information related to the changes made to Slice Register since the last release. Lastly, we get to the Download Changes from Slice button. Whenever there are any changes to your menu or other system updates, you will need to download changes from Slice in order to make those changes effective on your register.